I wonder what her last thoughts will be. I danced with you at my wedding, Jonathan. What have you become? What have I become? Asks the woman who was poisoning her husband. I cannot help but wonder how I was supposed to figure out that she was poisoning her husband. If not for the soothsayer, how? I've checked everywhere. I've even checked in the cub, the chest upstairs that was locked and I now have a key for. But that just gave me some components to use or sell if I want to buy more clues. But there must be some way. Is, is there a clue somewhere else? Some little giveaway? A note in a bin outside the house. Something that just points to there being a murderer inside. I don't think so. Maybe it was up there? Who knows? Oh, that's a point. Can I even get back in now? I mean... Ah, I can. Once the occupant of the house is uh, gone, I can just stroll on in. Do I want to speak to Clarence? No. I think it is time to have a day's sleep and see, well, what my actions have wrought. So, am I eyes getting more bloodshot or is that just probably just my imagination, isn't it? Clo Shadow mist. I've already got shadow damage. I've got blood damage, but I, I, I sort of wonder if it's worth trying out some other things. But I probably shouldn't. I've got this one maximized. This one maximized. It might be time to improve Abyss or Blood Spear. I could also try coagulation. I'm sort of curious to try that. And of course, I could make autophagy a little better. You trade more blood to heal yourself instantly. I mean, this does sound interesting. Autophagy, maybe you can coagulate and autophage. But I'd have to use something like coagulation instead of the blood spear. Which, you know, I mean I don't I don't mind, I suppose. Let's have a look. You throw a large spear which can pass through enemies in front of you, or multiple spears. I mean the multiple spears one could be really good to hit a lot of people. But that just sounds very, very cool, does it not? I could try it out, although I have to say, I sort of want the one that drains blood, so I, I'd need to spend at least, well, almost 4,000 blood to get that far. 4,000 blood, and it will get me 10 blood gain, and that's all? I will, I will gain 10 blood for three seconds? Oh, if I, if I... I get, it also stuns them, right? It, it makes them defenseless. This is like a, a stun. If I do this, I can actually stun some over 10 seconds. But stunning them for a few seconds and draining their blood whilst actually being able to hit them with my sword to get more blood could be the way forward. It could just, it's more a matter of I'd like to have some fun, which is terrible. It's terrible. Really is. I don't feel like I need more blood capacity or necessarily more physical prowess, although it's always good, I guess. Honestly, though, I think I mean this this could be cool. It's classified as a defensive measure. I'm not totally sure why. I 
I don't have anything that does a lot of blood damage except blood spear. Don't think this does blood damage though. It just drains them of blood and stuns them. This is a really good skill. This does shadow damage as does this. I should probably boost this so I've got some options and boost the ultimate. I can put... Ooh. I don't know whether that's worth it, actually. 5,000. Just to get a little extra damage. What would 5,000 get me here? It would get me... Oh, only the same, really. Same way up. Um, do I want to go for multiple spears, or do I want to go for more damage? 300 blood versus... A I think AoE in this case. I think I should concentrate on my ultimate and blood spear. Just get myself some... Decent options. You never know what I'm about to face. So the big question is... Which shall I do? I think I'm going to go for the multiple spears. I think I'm going to go for... This and then this. Which... Yeah. 270 versus 300. But... Oh, this one will pass through enemies. So if they're in a long line, that's cool. But very often... I just like the idea of hitting everyone in front of me. Let's, let's just let's just try it. Let's try it. So right, two thousand left, which means I can upgrade this, do a little extra shadow damage. Okay, it's the best I can do, I think, right now. Now let's see what happens tonight. Okay, so the docks is at ninety-four percent and healthy, and nobody's gotten ill. So that's not too bad. The hospital, 94% and healthy. Whitechapel has dropped a little, I think. I think it was in the stable area. Now it's 77. And we've got three, four people with fatigue. The West End, on the other hand, has completely plummeted. Yes, it has. I don't know if that's to do with the thing in the theatre or because of Venus Crosley, but we do have... Oh, God, he's got a migraine. Oh, Clarence has got a migraine. Okay. And we got a bunch of fatigue. Three fatigued people there and four fatigued people there. So, I need seven fatigue and one migraine. And then I need to run around and... Wait, that, is that the right one? Fatigue, yes. Let's just make a bunch of those. And the migraine, I've got one already, but let's let's make a second one. Let's make a few spare of these. Right. So first thing to do, I guess. Uh, probably not the best way to go out, actually. Oh, and of course I've got to fight my way back. Right. Okay. Mother! Okay. Who else was there that was not... Right. Louise, she's fine. I'm looking for Clarence. Clarence has a migraine and is nowhere to be seen. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh! You! Hello! I've actually... You know what? I'm going to find you in a minute. Right now, I, I do want to talk to you, but right now, more than anything, I want to talk to... Oh, God. Ah! Not looking forward Hello? to this. Anyone there? Leave me alone. Whatever you truly are, leave me. You will not be invited into this house. Clarence, it's me, Jonathan, your old friend. Remember? I'm back from the war, too. No, you're not. You only look like him, but you're dead inside. You, you, you're a walking devil searching for your next victim. Okay. Dude, let me in. Come on, Clarence. It's me, Johnny, your old friend. Let me in, please. I just want to see if you're all right. All right. I'll let you in. But you promise you won't hurt me. <laughs> Venus has been murdered. A vampire, a vampire killed my wife. Uh, I know, dude, I know. What do you want from me? 
I know. No, no, I, I know what you want. No, all right, dude. I'm Clarence, sorry. You need to calm down. I don't want to hurt you. You. You're responsible for all of this. Was it you I saw in front? Did you follow me here? What are you talking about? You're one of them, aren't you? A vampire. You killed my Venus. You destroyed my life. Dude, think about it. Think you seem quite agitated. Oh. Also, Here, let me examine yeah. you. Over my dead body, old friend. No pun intended. No, no, dude, 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 let, let, no, dude, you got a migraine. Dude, let me. You seem quite agitated. Here, let me examine you. Over my dead body, old friend. No pun intended. Oh, dude. What, what, okay. What are you going to do? You can't stay locked in here, shouting at every visitor you receive. Well, I will leave the city. Even the country, I promise. I will live far away from you. You will never hear of me again, I swear. <sighs> well, to be honest, that'll probably be best. I mean, I can't help you with a migraine then, but at least you'll be away, and at least you won't be dead from poisoning. What can you tell me about the borough? What do you want to know? The address of more innocent victims. <sighs> Dirty secrets you could use to manipulate them. Goodness, Clarence. I just want to ask some questions about the old neighborhood. All right, all right, don't get mad. Lots of people have died, if you must know. Others have fled the city, and uh, a few roam the streets at night, searching for fresh blood. Okay. I really should not have done that, should I? You do know she was trying to kill you, right? You got that bit, right? Dude. Do you now realize that your wife was poisoning you all this time? Yes, I know it's true now. I only had suspicions before, but I started to feel better immediately after she died. Physically, I mean. She never believed your vampire stories, mate. You don't seem resentful. You don't seem resentful towards her. Oh, I can't. I can't hate her. Even after everything she did. She probably had good reason to act that way. Ah, it's my fault, though. No, it's not. Yes, you were making her miserable. That is not a grand excuse for people to poison each other. She never believed your vampire stories. She was so ashamed she wanted to get rid of you. Yes. Shame. Vampires indirectly forced my beloved wife to want to kill me. Are there any depths your kind won't sink to? No, 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 no. Eh, uh, first of all, your actions are what drove her to want to kill you, but the fact that she wanted to kill you is just part of her... Mate. Don't even, don't even be trying to turn this one on me. Be ruined. Are you in trouble financially? The house seems so empty. I remember more furniture and paintings on these walls. You want to know if I spent my fortune to warn the world against you and your kind? Yes, I did. You want to steal what little money I have left? Help yourself. Yeah, unfortunately, I've already... Yeah, I don't need your money, dude. I kind of did take some of it, though, but that was more because I was angry at Venus. I don't need your money, Clarence. I thought it was my duty to warn people. But I was a fool. <sighs> I lost my wife. Lost everything. <sighs> Jesus. At this point, I'm almost feeling like it might be merciful to put him out of his misery. I was just remembering the old times, Clarence. We spent so many nice evenings here when we were younger. You, me, and Mary. Why? We were friends. We both survived the war. Why must it end like this? Because your wife was a murdering poisoner, and you're not nuts, but obsessed. And I'm a vampire. It's a, it's a, it was a bad... Mix, basically. Dude. Tell me what you know about vampires, Clarence. You are one of them. I know How? 
Do my you best know? My friend killed my Venus, and now forces me to answer him. It's true, isn't it? I'm not crazy. <sighs> Shall I just tell him the truth? I mean, there's vampires all over the place. Stop asking dangerous questions. Vampires do not exist. You're not crazy, dude. I'm going to regret saying this. And it may end up meaning I have to kill you. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Your wife was trying to murder you, and I... Yes, I'm a vampire. Yes, Clarence. I am a vampire. I knew it! I knew it! Why? Why did you kill her? We've known each other for years! We're friends, for God's sake! I need blood. No! Every night, who I decide to kill is my burden. I wish I'd never seen that vampire officer in France I killing that soldier. Didn't want to say that bit. My I don't life would have need been so blood. much easier. And you would still be my friend. I didn't want to say that last bit. I just, just, yes, I'm a vampire. But I killed her to save your life. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Uh, yeah, it's okay. You should not be here. You should not be here with the living. Neither should your wife, though. I hate to rub it in, but she was evil. She was a bigger monster than me. Oh, don't you know what? <sighs> but wait a minute. Does this mean I can never ever cure him of his migraine? Oh. Okay. We meet again, Mr. Kimura, in a more peaceful situation. Dr. Reed, still visiting London by night? We must both be nocturnal animals, you and I. After your captivity, I thought you'd be more cautious. Breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. Um... May I ask you what you do for a living, Mr. Kimura? I am... I was... a landlord. A wealthy one. And... not a very kind one, I realized recently. Why this sudden epiphany? Is it because of your near-death experience? I was already feeling nostalgic about Weymouth, my hometown. With recent events, I'm thinking about going back there. Um, right. Tadao is a rich landlord who is nostalgic about his hometown. My first thought was, okay, so he used to be an uncaring landlord. Reminds me of the one in Whitechapel. Is it possible the one in Whitechapel could become a little less despicable? I mean, he, he wasn't despicable on the same level as, say, Venus poisoning her husband, but he was just more dislikable than anything. Okay. How is the situation in the West End? I've heard rumours about armed men patrolling and fighting infected citizens in these very streets. I was lucky they didn't shoot me when I was abducted. Uh... Yes, what can you tell there. me about your abduction? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane, mumbling about sacrifice and voices. Why not sacrifice you on the spot? Good question. And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never Red heard of such an astronomical queen. term. Red Queen. Was captured by a vampire who discovered a passion for astronomy. Red Queen. Now, we, 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 there was a, a mention of the Queen by the spirit who appeared to me, wasn't it? The Queen of something. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. 
Um, okay. Why are you so nostalgic for your hometown, Tadao? I was focused so much on making money, I almost forgot that my relatives and friends are threatened by this epidemic. Have you heard anything from your family? I was not only a bad landlord, I was also a bad husband. I've not seen my wife and son for years. Busy, busy, busy. At least now you're ready yes. to go back and see them. But don't be surprised if your son bears a grudge, sir. You make it sound like you suffered from an absent father yourself, Dr. Reed. Well, I'll keep your warning in mind. Um... Wait a minute. Cat right, here we go. Left his family, not seen his son for years. Yeah, you were a terrible father. Have you no friends at all? Over the years, I'm afraid my greed turned me into my friend's adversary. While I became friends with my professional rivals. Those you grew up with didn't share your views on money and success. Would you believe I was once a member of poetry circles and an astronomy club? We were young, such joyful dreamers then. But I stopped laughing long ago. Astronomy. So it's, so it's possibly you were taken because of your knowledge of astronomy as well? Will you really change? Can you change? And is it what you really want? If so, it must come from within, not without. I've seen what an altruistic gesture can do. Nothing forced you to save me, Dr. Reed, but you did. I will follow your example in these matters from now on. Uh, there is no need to thank me. Yes, follow my example. I'm no good Samaritan. There's no need. No, 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 no. Just follow my... No, yes, you should follow my... No, do, 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 do that. Do that. Follow the example. That's a good thing. Follow my example, then. Find a complete stranger and help him or her the best you can. Then invite him or her to do the same. You know what? That's not a bad plan, actually. And I should start with my family. For they are almost strangers to me now. What? A hint failed? <sighs> Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. So... Oh. Okay. Tell me, Tadao, why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Hmm. Yes, astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent many a pleasant evening stargazing. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. But children love magic and stories. I remember our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations? Pegasus, my mother's constellation. Draco, my constellation. Cygnus, my sister's constellation. <sighs> Should we just focus on the living? Pegasus. It was the constellation my mother liked the most. Memory's a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations, yet I barely remember my own childhood. Do you, do you think this vampire was just pretending to be into astronomy so he could get to you or to an astronomer? Did Basically, he fake his interest in astronomy to get close to you? No. In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration. Did, did he mention what that configuration was? No. All right. So that's, I think, all of it. Do you know anything about a man called Aloysius Dawson, by any chance? Well, I've never met the man personally, but... I invested money in some of his companies when I came to London. A brilliant businessman. Oh, somebody who said something nice about him, although... Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take brilliant care. businessman is basically... London has brought so much pain to me. 
Why don't I want to leave? Yeah, that is a good question. Okay, so... Ah, Carolyn Price and Charles Jerome Albright. Now, they are over there, which is where I'm going anyway to meet Aloysius Dawson. Although, I'm pretty sure I'm not actually going to turn him. <sighs> I can't figure this one out. Let's, before we do that, before we go to Dawson, I want to make sure I repair as much damage as humanly possible. So, a quick run around White Chapel is in order. What's the quickest way to get there? I can actually just go from White Chapel to, to where I'm going. So, this shouldn't be too bad. No, it shouldn't. And the best way to get there without encountering 3,000 terrible things is... Probably straight down here. Blood aircon. Let's take him out. He's weakened the other guy for me, which is nice. Oh! Did you kill him? Nice one. Yes, it is. Wow. It really is. All right, then. Uh... So, I did a bit more damage with my, um... Oh, I haven't tried my blood spear. He says... <laughs> like a science experiment, really, isn't it? I should try the blood spear just for the lols. Right, we'll, we'll go in here and then we'll start... Oh. Ah, one of those. Can I time this? Oh, not time it. Aim it so I get all of them, both of them. Gets oh, no, 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 no. Oh, see when I'm drinking, that doesn't work on me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's he doing? And bam, bam. Oh, come on, I was miles away. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've just... This, I'm... I'm I've... Okay, yeah. I found the weapon for me. Pretty sure I didn't pick up everything. At this point, I really don't need components anyway. Oh, no, yes, I do. I want to sell them. I want to sell them for clues. Yes, indeed. I'm heading off this direction. Money means clues. Have they become tougher? I don't actually think they have. This district is serious. Oh, wow! God, I almost broke him in half. Don't get too cocky. It really is a bad sign when you start feeling powerful. District status, serious. Yeah, I know. I know. Hopefully... Is he dead? God, I hope so. That is right. She is fine. I think the boy. Oh, I should really be careful about that. Okay. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Everyone in Whitechapel is now recovering. <laughs> oh, well, those that are capable of recovering. <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously, some people are kind of beyond. Oh, God. Help. So, you know. Not a lot I could do about them. Apart from, uh, clean up the mess. Where, where is, no. Oh. oh, well. Um, which way am I going? I'm going through there. Oh, you know what. And... 
So, we've got a couple of people to sort out here. Uh, one of them was the shopkeeper, the other one was the constable, I believe. And that would just leave my friend Clar Clarence. Best uh, back, sir. Yeah, I know, I know. Which way is the best way to go? Could Stay, away. Stay in. And actually pretty damn tough. And oh, that's a lot of damage. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. I actually This not easy. No, no, no. And BAM! Okay. Which way is best actually? Oh, we got one of those priestly things. Is he going to notice me? Probably not. Should I worry about him? Maybe I should. Maybe I should clear this up because I think this area is one I walk down all the time. Oh. I'd head back if I were you, sir. I might actually because my ultimate's not ready. So I will go and take this opportunity to heal the various people I need. Have I been? Oh, yeah. Um... Took me a sec to get my bearings. Okay, well, everyone who can recover is now recovering, as far as I can see. I'm not happy about Whitechapel. Not happy about Whitechapel or the West End, to be honest, especially since I'm about to face a pillar. Which, ah, yes. Best be moving on. Yes, best be moving on. Oh, whoa, he is. Let's. Right. Tough, definitely tough. Let's not. Christ, he's dead. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll take that. I will take that. Oh, God. Got my shield up. Which means you're in trouble. Yes, it does. Right. Out of curiosity. Did I hear? Did I hear some giggling? I kind of feel like I heard giggling. I I did. I am in fact hearing giggling. You know, when a vampire comes calling on a mansion, usually it's the vampire that does the mad cackling. There it is again. That sounded like it was from over there, but there's nobody on the outside as far as I can tell. So let's just, uh, let's enter. Okay, it's very nice. And I'm not gonna send Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Um Probably not. But before we make that decision, let's just, you know. Look for clues and this sort of thing. Nothing in this area. So, upstairs. Ah, there he is. In which case, let's check 
upstairs first. Ah, perhaps I can get there both ways. But at least this way I can double check to see if there's anything. Oh, oh, oh. Newspaper article. Execution of John Francis Sparrow. John Francis Sparrow, 21, has been hung this morning in the prison of Penterville. Mr. Sparrow was sentenced to death after being found guilty of murder of his sister, Alexandra Sparrow. Until the end, the man claimed he was innocent. No formal proof of his presence at the crime scene was ever brought to court, but he has been sentenced to death and executed anyway. Scotland Yard refused to reopen the case despite many holes in the chains of event, which ended with the death of Miss Sparrow. Charles Albright, who conducted the inquiry for Scotland Yard, refused to answer any of our questions, but three weeks ago... He was demoted without any official explanation. Hmm, what a strange way to reward an efficient inquiry. Clayton Darby. Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. Yes, indeed. <gasps> Should I go and talk to him before I do anything here? I suspect it's not going to change my thought process too much, to be honest. I'm, I'm fairly sure I don't want this man to be a vampire. And I'm fairly sure Lady Ashbury would like me to murder him. But I'm going to assume... There is a third option. The question is, what is that third option? And is it preferable? Okay. See, he is waiting calmly for me down below while I rifle through everything he owns. Well, probably not everything he owns, considering how rich he is. While I rifle through... Ah, I mean, there's the plus side. If I uh, if I do kill him, I get the key. Terrible thing to think, really is. But uh, from what I can gather, he's not exactly the world's greatest person. I'm still not totally sure I have all the information I want. I have a feeling. It's locked, all right. I have a feeling I won't be getting any further clues. All right, then. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansions. And death, pestilence some other around things. us. And time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. We can take a few minutes. Trust me, I'm the only vampire here. Trust me. Uh, we can take a few minutes. No, he says we don't have time. Trust me. Well, I'm the only vampire here, so you, ha you pretty much have to uh, humor me. I'm the only vampire in the room for now, so please indulge me. All right, all right. What is it you wish to ask? Uh, okay. 
About becoming my progeny. We'll do that in a minute. How do you feel about the Guard of Priwen? What do you know about the Guard of Priwen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Oh yeah, that's not remotely worrying. No, no. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hand. Ooh, strike two. Hmm. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. I'm not just saying that's the strike three, but it's definitely not a good one. So let's... Oh, God. Proceed, I guess. There's no... Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. That strike through. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance oh. the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Oh, you mean you'll save the rich people? You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes, it will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. Well, first of all, really don't like the whole chaff thing. Second of all, do you realize that um, probably one of the most illustrious actresses of the time was probably one of the central contagion points. Your wall would not have helped you because the wheat was rotten. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. No matter the cost, I shall remember that. You'll create two separate prisons. You will! You, you, you put those walls up. The contagion's already here. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Only if you do it before the contagion arrives. Too late. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking, but I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. Because as it's long not the as flu. the right people are on the right side of the wall, oh. that's all that matters. Strike four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The infection will propagate because it's being propagated by sentient creatures, I believe. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. Right. We must also be smart. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? Which you it will. You created a giant trap. That won't happen. Yes, as will. long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. Oh, right. So if someone walks down the road and, uh, I know, they get sneezed because they've had a bit of hay fever or something. It's like, burn them! Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to work. Who gave you the right to decide? I mean, you're rich. That is uh, That does give you power, but that's not necessarily the same as the right, is it? Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. Yeah. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. Yes, tough decisions that probably make everybody else miserable and you happy. Yes? I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. 
At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Okay. Turn! You sacrificed 2,000 XP in the process. I'll make you a vampire. And embrace, I will kill you. Charm, forget your fear of dying. Okay. I'm not, no. Killing him. Would this just convince him? Forget your fear of dying. Does that just mean he no longer cares and he will, he will, he will, he will go back to Redgrave and say, I don't, I don't mind. I'm going to die. Dying's good. Dying's cool. And we can walk the middle ground. I mean, Lady Ashby said, just don't turn him. That was the important thing. Just don't turn him. Forget your fear of dying. For all I know, that means he'll just climb up on the roof and jump off thinking he can fly. I've all, the problem is, is, is I've just killed somebody and the West End is in a bad way. If I kill a pillar, it's going to send the West End into a spiral, surely. Although God knows if I turn him, it sounds like it'll send into a spiral as well. Plus... Lady Ashbury will be annoyed with me, and that's way more important. Um, killing him will probably upset Redgrave. Do you think he'll know if I did this? Okay, let's do this. Let's. F so he'll just he just won't want immortality, but the neighborhood won't go down. <sighs> well, let's do it. Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Oh. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No! There must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear I will die a man of dignity. And a man at peace. Okay. Uh, mesmerized level. New citizens available to kill. Report to Re Lord Redgrave. Yeah, he's not going to be ecstatically happy, is he?